So, dear students, in order to properly understand this, how this uh, left shift operator is working, we'll have to make a series of bits little more clear. Huh? Let me do something in a new Excel sheet so that it will be more clear to you all. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30, 31, 32. I have selected 32 cells and have converted, I mean, I have reduced the width of them all. So, let me show you that how many cells these are. These all are in total 32 cells, one, two, three. Each cell, suppose each cell can store one bit, okay? Here it is not possible to, I mean, show you everything clearly because I have to show you other things also. So I've used a separate Excel sheet. Now here I can show you clearly how this, these things are happening. So this is the number 64. Let us store the number 64 here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh bit is one and rest all are zero. Look, our the, the variable n1 is of byte data type, which will take only one byte of RAM. But the variable i is integer data type, is of integer data type. Look at the program, i is of integer data type. Integer data type take four bytes in RAM. So I have covered one, two, three, four bytes of RAM and I have assigned this. That this is I. And to watch it more clearly, I have made a sequence of 32 bits or four bytes. And where I have stored right now, the number 64. Okay, fine. Now, what does the lift, left shift operator does? Now, here's the point. Let us make more, more space for demonstrating this. What we are using in this program, we are using this operator. This is left shift operator. And what does this number represents? This number represents how many bits has to be shifted to left side. So these two bits has to be shifted to the left side. Okay. So now let us see this in this way. If we will, I mean, if we'll shift everything in this bit to the left side, what will happen? So first of all, this is the actual number. Fine. Copy this. And uh, do one thing, here you paste it, okay. Now you can easily see that it is shifted to two bits this side, left side, okay, left side. I mean, left shift two. Now when we left shift, then what happens? This goes to this left side. And this new space is filled up with another two zeros. So now what? This, this is the new number. This is the new number which is now there stored in variable i. Now what happened to variable n2? This is n2. So dear students, n2 is of byte data type. I'm repeating it again and again. And byte simply has only eight bits. No ninth bit is there. So what happens? Look, count it. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ड्यू टू टू लेफ्ट शिफ्ट ऑल द एट बिट्स हैज फिल्ड अप विथ जीरो दिस हैज गोन टू द नाइन्थ बिट इन केस ऑफ एन टू and thus n2 is only interpreting the 8 bit and these all 8 bit is, has zeros in it them so zero is the number stored in it fine but in case of i i has this whole place for it okay now this is the new number with i now what is this new number let us interpret count it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is a nine-bit number. Another simple way to, uh, I mean, interpret these numbers. Just select the binary one and write this number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. look in decimal it is 256 in binary this is this but in decimal it is 256 so this makes a point clear that when we shift left shift then these things happens and therefore it is displaying the value of i as 256 and the value of n2 as 0 because of this reason so let us try to better understand it okay what will happen if we left shift 3 so see let us see what happens shifting 3 means this whole thing will now shifted like this the new 3 bits Three bits shifted to the left side. Then three blank uh, I mean, spaces there, which will be filled up by zeros, and this side also everything will be filled up by zeros. So, first of all, let us see using the calculator that what new number is generated. So, the new number generator. How can we know this? We just need to increase one zero here, or let us once again type the how many bits are there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, which number is this? This is five hundred twenty-four. Okay, let us see the program as well. Whether it is displaying the same result or not, so let us go back, compile it, see it. Yes, this is five hundred twelve. Okay, 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 okay. Now, what is what about five hundred twelve? Five hundred twelve is just double of two fifty six. Acha, this is the one common thing. Okay, then what will happen if we'll shift four? Save it. let us do this thing first in the in this way let us see four shift means this is 3 four here this and four bit now four blank bits are there which will be filled up with zeros four zeros now All others filled up with zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven bit number. Which number is this? Let us see. Hmm. Is the calculator yes? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Look, this is ten thousand, one thousand twenty-four, which is just double of five hundred twelve. let us also authenticate by compiling and watching the new result yes so dear students left shifting is doing what 
is simply a simple way of multiplying by two. Yes. So here you came to know that if you have to multiply any number by two, then instead of using a multiplication operator and giving complex instructions to the processor of multiplying and uh, multiplication operation, we can simply left shift that and we'll get the result, uh, the multiplication of two, very simple. So this is how the left shift operator is working. Here comes the right shift operator. We can easily uh, understand what is right shift. The same way of left is right. Let us learn it here first. Huh? And then we will Right shift two. Now what? This whole thing. Space. Copy this. And what? Two bits. Left, right shift this time. Look, these extra two zeros are going away. Going out of it, no? so erase these things. That finished. It's left shift two, right shift two, and uh, rest everything get filled up with zero. Now, which is this number? Let us first see the help of calculator. This is the number. This is what 16 fine now let us make change in the program instead of left shift right shift 2 just 2 save it go for the compiler see the result see the answer is 16 so Understanding bitwise operator simply needs your understanding of bits, bytes, the different data types. And if you have good idea of how the data get stored in RAM when they are get when they are either assigned or they are inputted, then only you can understand these things. We are working at the bit level. We are watching but how the bits can be, I mean, you can change the bits. Either you can left shift to it and the right shift to it. So this is how the bitwise operator is working. So we have other operators too. Other bitwise operators are also there. But if you have understood these, uh, these many operators, then also it is enough. Rest, you can understand in your own also. So dear students, please watch this video one time, two times, three times and uh, try to practice it in your own. And if you have any queries, any problem, you may ask me. So this is how we have almost completed the bitwise operator. So thank you. See you in the next video.